Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So as I promised I've got the Magpie mirror tape um, sort of swatch and demo video for you today. So Magpie recently launched these four mirror tapes so they're basically sort of like sticky tapes but obviously you have this gorgeous sort of um, mirror chromey type effect so obviously we've got the four colors so we've got sort of the unicorn sort of white blue color we've also got sort of an orangey gold then we've got like a pink color and then obviously we've got the blue color as well so um i'm just going to get straight into sort of showing you the swatches that i've done um and then we'll get on to do a demo right at the end so here's the first five swatches that I did. So I'll go through um, each one and I'll show you um, sort of the shape cutter that I used with it as well. So first up here, we've got the horseshoe. So these are the sort of shape cutters that I've used. So I got these from Hobbycraft. This is one of the mini ones. And this is on uh, the new Mamma Mia uh, gel color and I used the um, sort of pink toned uh, mirror tape as well. Um, so yeah, so this is the mini one, um, you know, and obviously the colors go really nicely together. Then the next one here, I used on the new Piccalilli uh, Magpie Gel, and um, I used the like orangey, goldy one, obviously because it went really nicely with the mustard color and I used the pineapple mini uh, shape cutter. Then next up in the middle here, that was actually the first one I did. So obviously that's using the blue tape so that you can see the um, dots that I did. So obviously for the half dots sort of closer to the bottom, I just did them off the side of the tape. And that's on the new Not On My Nelly, which is a teal color. And then I use the mini dot uh, shape cutter. So then next up, I, I use the new watermelon -y from uh, the Flower Power collection. And I also use the orangey gold one as well because it went really nicely with that watermelon -y. And again, I use one of the mini ones. So obviously this is the cherry. So then lastly, I used Uma Days from the new gel collection. And then I obviously used the uh, sort of unicorn effect one. So, but this shape cutter is a lot bigger. So this isn't counted as one of the mini ones. So I got a couple of these. So you can see the difference in size. So as you can see on the swatch, it was actually really difficult to place down because it was so, although it fit okay on this nail, I wasn't actually expecting it to. Where the nail is quite curved, don't know if you can see how sort of curved it is, um, it was really difficult to flatten down. So my advice is maybe either to stay away from the larger ones or um, to just be very careful when you're placing it down. Um, because as you can see, it's kind of sort of coming up all around the edges where it's so large trying to fit on a curved nail um it would have been great if they'd done the unicorn in a mini one because that would have been much better um but obviously they didn't um but yeah like that sort of side there feels a slight bit bumpy um so it could possibly sort of peel off but that's because the uh shape is too sort of large essentially um i don't know i mean you could probably successfully do it. This is just me sort of trying to get them all done for you for the video. Um, but yeah, that would be the only one that I would sort of advise to be careful on uh, would be like the larger shapes. So then we have the next four. So the first one here is obviously on Uma Days and using the unicorn sort of pink blue tape again. Now, this shape cutter is counted as one of the mini ones, so I'll put it against the uh, unicorn. But as you can see, the heart is actually very large. And again, it's done that bit where it's trying to come up. And I think it's because it's so quite, large. obviously just be careful if you do get a shape, even though it's counted as a mini 
uh, shape cutter just be careful if the shape is quite large and curved like that um it you know you could probably do it but i'm you know that's just my first attempt at it so then next up here i obviously used watermelony again and i used the nice sort of orangey gold one and then i use this little uh mini cat shape i have got a dog shape as well but again it's one of these big ones and i i generally don't think they're going to fit on the nail um i've got about three more large ones and i don't think they're going to fit on the nail at all um so just stick i would say stick to the mini ones because they'll definitely fit but the the cat's cute uh then next up obviously using the blue uh, mirror tape again and using not on my Nelly and one of the mini shape cutters obviously in the butterfly and that combination looks really really nice especially with the butterfly you could obviously do this over the whole nail I know that Sarah um, the owner of magpie did um, you know some sort of teaser photos and she had obviously done the cutting out of the shapes and done it over the whole nail you can do that, but obviously because I'm trying to show you some different shapes and the combinations and stuff, I kind of didn't have the time, if that makes sense, to just cover the whole nail. And also if you've got a client that particularly has like, uh, you know, narrow nails or something like that, you may not be able to fit loads and loads of these shapes on. But it's quite easy, like, you know, you could see where I did it with the dots just at the edge. So you don't even need to cut anything, it's just how you... Uh, you know sort of place the shape cutters um so then the last one on here obviously is over pick a lily again and i actually used the um sort of pink one rather than before um on top of the mustard where i used the orange one so you can see the difference there between the two how they look different on the same base um, and that one actually was a large one, which is obviously the wine glass. I thought that that would be quite cool. Um, but that one wasn't actually that hard to place. But I'm guessing it's because it's quite narrow. You know, there's not sort of, it's not like the unicorn where it's a whole big surface. Um, so that was a lot easier to place on, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm just going to do a final one uh, with showing you how to do a demo for it. So I've got my nail pop here. I'm going to use uh, Mamma Mia from the new Flower Power collection. I've tried to use the new gels because they're really fantastic and they go so nicely with these mirror tapes. So I'm going to do my first layer of colour. And obviously cap the free edge and cure in my lamp. Then I'm just going to go in with my second layer of colour and cap the free edge and cure in my lamp. So the shape that I'm going to use is this cute little flamingo and this is one of the mini cutters so they're in comparison to the unicorn. So the flamingo you could definitely try and sort of cover the whole nail with it if that makes sense. Um, obviously just placing it um, wherever you want to. And I'm going to use um, the pink tape as well, um, just because it goes really nicely with that base rather than the sort of bluey pink one. I think this one goes really nice with Mamma Mia and obviously with the Flamingo as well. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to get the Magpie Cleanser and a Lymph Free Wipe. And the first thing that you want to do is wipe off that tacky layer from the um, gel color. So I've not done any top coat or anything like this. I'm just removing the tacky layer from that color. So then obviously getting your tape. So when the, you get the tape, it get um, you have sort of like a yellow sealant on it, but also on the back of the edge of the tape, there's sort of this double-sided sticky tape. Um, I would suggest keeping that on because I didn't for this one and it's <laughs> it just unrolls. So as you can see, I've kind of just stuck a little bit back on. So if you even if you just did that, but I would suggest actually trying to keep that on uh, the back as much as you can because then you can easily just tape it back up like that and it all stays nice and neat. So obviously you can see where I did the uh, other shapes. So all I'm going to do is just slot 
the shape cutter in, press down like that. So obviously you can see it's come out of the um, mirror tape. So, and these, they just come out of the bottom here. So you just flip it up like that, tap it out. So then I'm gonna get my tweezers. I'd suggest using some nice sharp tweezers rather than anything sort of too blunt, but this is really quite easy to get off. So just grab the corner of it. So it just peels off just like that. And then just place it where you want to on the nail with your tweezers. Then just pat down with your finger like that. Then I'm gonna get Magpie Give Me Strength. Now I'm only gonna do one coat of this and I will explain why after. But I'm just gonna do a nice sort of generous layer of Give Me Strength. So obviously if you're doing uh, layers of Give Me Strength before, I'd just do your normal two layers and then you can just have this one layer on top. It won't do um, any harm to have this extra layer. But this is really just to make sure that it's got a really nice um, layer sort of covering it and if you think that there might be any edges that might come up just make sure that you really sort of apply the give me strength to those areas so then I'm going to cure that in my lamp so the reason I said I'm only going to use one layer of give me strength is because Magpie also brought out um, a new top coat called shine bright so this is sort of a thicker top coat than let it shine as far as I'm aware let it shine may not be coming back um, but as you can see it's a lot thicker it's kind of got a similar consistency to give me strength you can kind of see them there I know it's a bit difficult because they're in black bottles um, but hopefully you can kind of see so they're sort of similar in consistency where they're really quite nice and thick so I don't actually need to do two layers of Gimme Strength. If I was using Let It Shine, I probably would have done two layers of Gimme Strength and then obviously a thin layer of Let, of let It Shine, but um, yeah, I won't need to. So that layer of Gimme Strength has been cured, so then I'm just going to go over with a nice even layer of the new Shine Bright top coat. And cut my free edge and obviously cure for 60 seconds. So, and again, I'm just going to get the Magpie cleanser and I'm going to get a new lymph-free wipe. So then once that's been fully cured, obviously I'm just going to wipe over the nail to remove that tacky layer. So there are the last um, sort of five swatches. So they're really easy to use, um, you know, and obviously having the variety of colours is quite nice as well. And again, you could use it on, you know, any colour. I've just chosen the new collection to use because it's um, obviously brand new out and stuff. But yeah, you can obviously use whatever colour combination you want to. And you don't just have to use the shape cutters either. You can obviously use some scissors to do um, stripes or little like shards or something. Um, you could get some craft scissors to do sort of zigzag effect um, or like a scalloped edge or something like that. You know, the, the possibilities are endless and, you know, you get a lot on this reel. I don't know if you can see, you know, how much you get. And, you know, you're only using a small section each time. So these are going to last you for ages. So um, those are obviously available on the website now, along with uh, the new gels as well. And obviously the new glitters. All of the new products I'm going to do a separate video for. Um, so look out, you know, on my channel for those because we've got the gel collection, um, we've got the glitters and then we've got the new hexagon shapes as well. So we've got loads of stuff uh, to show you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a separate video for everything. So but obviously starting off with the mirror tape because um, I did a little poll on my Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's what people wanted to see first was the mirror tape. So that's what I've done. So I hope that you like this video, guys. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.